And how damaging is this for, uh, not only for Theresa May's government, but also for the whole Brexit process itself? Good morning, Bell. Well, I think yesterday was a definite turning point in Brexit. And if you imagine the past two or so years as a roller coaster ride, there's been thrills, there's been spills, everything's been flipped upside down, hairpin turns. But yesterday, the wheels came off and the car left the track. The government has now lost control of the Brexit process because it suffered three historic defeats in the House of Commons. It was probably the worst day for a government in Parliament for around 40 years. And if we go through the front pages this morning, the Daily Telegraph, the day May lost control, the mirror, 63 minutes of mayhem. The Eye, Parliament takes back control, and the Daily Mail, Brexit on a knife edge. And that isn't hyperbole from the papers. That is really the situation that Theresa May finds herself in. Because this debate on the contempt of Parliament, well, it is the first time in history that a government has been found in contempt of Parliament. That is a new precedent. It will change the way, uh, unforeseeably, that governments will work in future. And the government now has to publish that full legal advice on the deal. We haven't been told when it will do it, but there will be an expectation that it will be before next week's vote. And the numbers were already stacking up against the Prime Minister. But I think once that legal issue, uh, that legal information is published, particularly around the backstop, I think she'll be losing even more MPs on it. And then the government suffering that defeat from the former Attorney General Dominic Grieve laying an amendment, which means that now they have lost control of what will happen. If that vote next week is lost, which it is even more likely to be now, MPs will not only get to, on the second vote, vote the deal down, whatever May has done to get concessions or changes, they will then in fact determine the course of Brexit. And the repercussions of that is no deal seems to be now off the table. That is gone, which will be to the pleasure of the hardcore Brexiteers. But it means now that uh, some of those dire warnings that we heard about no deal, well, those will be sort of put uh, to the back of everyone's minds. And then what does it mean for Theresa May? She's got these five days of debate after she'd had those terrible losses. She then had to open up these days of debate. They went into the early hours this morning. Today it will carry on. The focus is on security. They'll continue doing that until next Tuesday. Behind the scenes, Theresa May is meeting one-on-one -on -one with small groups of MPs trying to convince them. The word is from those meetings that it's her simply parroting the same lines, that she seems to be losing steam on it. And I really think now we are in the final couple of weeks of Theresa May's premiership here because it seems as though MPs they wanted to take back control, well, they definitely have done. All right. And Vincent, uh, what does that mean uh, for opposition uh, parties and, uh, and essentially even within uh, Theresa May's own government, but opposition uh, parties, what are they going to be doing next? Well, if we look within her own party first, for the remainers in her own party, the likes of Anna Subri, Anna Subri Dominic Grieve, they will be thrilled that their amendment got through the House of Commons, taking away the option of no deal. For the Brexiteers, well, they are going to vote this down anyway, so she doesn't seem to have the votes on her own side. And the opposition parties, well, I think they are pretty emboldened at this point. Labour yesterday scoring that huge success of having them being found in contempt of Parliament. The DUP voting against the government for all intents and purposes, that deal between the two parties now seems to be dead. So Theresa May would in effect be running a minority government. The SNP also voting against it. I wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of days they brought a measure of no confidence in the House of Commons on Theresa May to try to topple her government.